We're learning more about the victims of the Key Bridge collapse. Leslie Moreno continues our team coverage and she joins us live in Baltimore. Leslie, what new information do you have and have you been able to get in touch with family? Yeah, I can tell you we briefly spoke to Maynard Sandoval's family earlier today. As you can imagine, they are not ready to uh, speak to us on camera just yet. So far, only four of the six victims have been identified. Here's what we know so far. We know eight uh, workers were on the bridge fixing potholes when the bridge collapsed on Tuesday. Only two people survived. Casa, a Latin uh, immigration organization, confirmed that 34 year-old Maynard Suazo Sandoval of Honduras and 40-year-old Miguel Luna of El Salvador are among the victims. Less than 24 hours ago, crews pulled two bodies from the river. Uh, they're identified as 35-year-old Alejandro Hernandez Fuentes, who lives here in Baltimore and uh, is originally from Mexico, and 26-year-old Dorian Castillo Cabrera. He was originally from Guatemala. We do also know Luna was a husband and father of three. He has has been living here in Maryland for almost 20 years and Sandoval also married and a father of two who had been living here in the U.S. for 18 years. I can also tell you we did stop by at Bronner Builders headquarters today. This is the uh, company that employed the workers. I did ask for an update on those two survivors, the victims uh, and their condition, but have not yet received a response. I can also tell you we are in close contact with Costa. We do understand they will be having another media briefing at some point tomorrow. As far as uh, those two survivors, we are still working on getting in contact with them. Crews did say they are still working on uh, recovering the bodies of those two other victims. But debris, we understand, must be uh, removed from the water first. And as you can imagine, uh, that may take uh, some time, guys. And no doubt the community coming in together to support these families as we try to move on and heal. Leslie Moreno, thank you so much. We're staying on top of every layer of this developing story. You can scan the QR code on your screen. From there, you will receive a link to all of our coverage. Everything you need to know about this devastating incident, the NTSB telling us that a full report of what happened on that ship and the response on the bridge could take anywhere from a year to two years to complete.